five and three. Uh, yeah, welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast Live, Wednesday night edition. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hope everybody's good. Um, right now we're going to hold it up just a couple minutes and uh, see uh, see if we get some people up in the chat. Um, in the meantime, Transformer, what's good with you, man? How you doing? Man, not much, brother. Living a good life as always. Another day, another <laughs> breath taken. That's it. Another dub by the Lakers, man. How you feeling? Not mad at that. Not mad at that. Dub by the Lakers, dub by the Celtics. Uh, the NBA can't ask for nothing better than that, right? I mean, you're, you're right. right. In that sense, you're right. <laughs> yeah, in that sense, you're the two most storied franchises That's in it. NBA history, they both That's right. got a dub and open a night. That's pretty dope. Yeah. yeah. Oh, only thing better is if we see them wind up in the finals. That would be, obviously, you know. Boy. That is what the NBA is built on. <laughs> you you want to talk about, I'm not going to be able to be on a podcast with you for like a week and a half? <laughs> I'm not going to be able to talk, bro. Don't talk to me. You're not lying. <laughs> I'm not going to talk to you. I'm lying. Hey, if we have to make a truce. Before we start off, it's going to be, all right, guys, before we get started on the format podcast, me and Bryant right now are making a truce. Truce. Don't talk no Celtic, no Lakers. <laughs> Until the finals right. is over, don't talk nothing. When the finals is over, then we'll go back through the whole thing. But until then, <laughs> we we can talk about NFL, free agency, baseball, something. Now we, hey, we talk can talk about, about everything under the sun. Don't talk everything about everything under the sun. That's a fact. That's a fact. Oh, hey, man. My wife, uh, we was watching the Green Bay game, right? And of course, you know, it mm. was a freaking, it was, uh, it was, it was nerve wracking. And mm -hmm. I can see my wife, like she went from cheering and then mm -hmm. I started getting pissed off. I started throwing my shirt. Mm -hmm. Like I punched a box. <laughs> she, was just like, <laughs> she got on her phone. She was like, oh my God, somebody come and save me. This man is about to go crazy. I'm like, so imagine right. if it's Boston Celtics versus the Lakers in the finals. Oof. I'm like, T, I'm, I'm honestly just going to have to leave the house. Like I can't be <laughs> home. I'm, I'm not going to be able to be home. Like I don't care. I'm going to have to be home. Yeah. I'd rather put it on my phone and sit in the car. Crazy, right? Get me away, because I don't. You know what? No, we owe y'all one because the last time we played y'all in the finals was uh, God bless the dead. The Mamba, the Mamba you know, did his thing, and and, and y'all um, y'all handled business. So, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm still not feeling too good about that. I respect it, but I don't like it. Tyler, you what's know? good? How are you? Tyler, what's good, baby? <laughs> but yeah, man, I respect it. Definitely don't like it. Of course, you know, you know, Jeez. just like 08, You know what I'm saying? When uh, when we did what we had to do. You know, oh, it was like a pandemic type of year, right? It wasn't a you know pandemic I mean? type year, yeah, man. It was like a bubble. It was a recession. It was no Everybody bubble. was broke. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, and and Boston just got it the easy way, man. They just they truly got you the got easy to be way. Kidding me, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, whatever. Just like, hey, we don't count the bubble championship for the Lakers. We ain't counting the Boston uh recession championship. Okay, that wasn't no recession <laughs> shit, man. Listen, man, you are killing me. <laughs> Oh my all goodness! All love, all love, man. All, all love. Count Respect if, they, if they're logged, okay, they logged yes, them. They count. <laughs> I, I guess we got to look at it that way. But oh, um, I will. there you go. But uh, we got some good topics for y'all tonight. Uh, obviously, it's Wednesday, so we're gonna do our pick 'em. Um, hopefully, G shows up and we can get get him in on that. But uh, he may not be here tonight. Uh, Shannon, then we have our, what's all right, up? Shannon. <laughs> Then we have Joel Embiid, and uh, well, we got a lot, a lot to talk about with this guy. Uh, <sighs> um, then we, uh, for our main topic of the night, we will talk about the history that was made in Hollywood last night. Because um, no matter how you feel about it, it was uh, it was something that we may never see again. And so, obviously, that's a that's an, a huge thing, right? We may never see that again. True. We most likely won't see that again. So, just yeah. you know, to acknowledge the. Um, I don't even know the word, but uh, just to acknowledge how huge of a moment that was uh, for a number of reasons, um, we'll, we'll do some talking about that. And then finally, we're going to talk about arguably the two best teams in the NFL, uh, the, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens. So uh, it's going to be a fun show. It's going to be a fun show. No, there's no. <clears throat> no. Y'all are very good. You're not one of the best teams in the NFL what? right now. Nah, man. See, here you go. What's the, what's the record, Bruce? What's the records? Okay, five and two, five and two. Okay, yes, I I understand that, but right, you you're not when 
Well, the eye test says to me, y'all not one of the best teams in, in the league. Okay, You're very good. Just because y'all don't want to do this like that, you know what I mean? It's okay. No. Okay, all right. It's all okay. Right. We're five Listen, and two. I'm not saying you can't be. I'm not saying you can't be. We're also five and two. Just Dude. a better five and two than you. Ow! <laughs> you <laughs> just look at the record, I'm, man. You, no, no you better. see we winning people out here, man. Hey, man, you know, a dub is a dub. I don't care if it's about one point That's or two teams. You know That's I mean? true. A dub is a dub. You, you That's true. It out, I mean, you know what I mean? Game of inches, baby. All right, all right. I mean, we do have the number one offense in the, in the league, so that, that's huge. And we got top five in, in defense, so you know what I mean? I'm just yeah, saying, you know. I'm surprised about that. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I'm yeah. surprised. And yeah. we just add another piece. We're going to make that a quick hit. Here's yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's um. Yeah. So before we get to the quick hits, y'all, uh, you know what time it is. Let's do that, and then we'll get this thing started. If you're here on YouTube and you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead, click that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Make sure you're kept up to date whenever we drop new content on the channel. If you want the audio-only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, hit the search bar, type in the format podcast, and we should come right up. If you're enjoying the content, make sure you give us that like, that five-star review, and drop a comment. All that stuff helps us rise in the algorithm, helps us find more sports fans, helps more sports fans find us. And finally, make sure you write it down, put it in your phone, set an alarm, do whatever you got to do to remember. Saturday nights at 7 p.m., we are live here on the Format Podcast, and we'll give you the opportunity to call in, talk to us, get at me. I love it. I can't all right, team. All right. Well, let's get right to it. Um, let's let's. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure G is excited about this one. <laughs> uh, somebody go get G. I know, right? I'm, I'm a, you know, I think he's he probably should pop in, but I'm gonna leave. <laughs> All right. So let's do this, y'all. Um, here we go. So the final topic, right? Um, despite what Transformer said earlier, <laughs> I think we know kind of at this point who are the two best teams currently in the NFL. And that is the Baltimore Ravens, who I said is cutting through the league like a knife through hot, hot knife through butter. And then, of course, the uh, undefeated, only undefeated team left, who just got uh, 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 probably a future Hall of Fame uh, wide receiver in, uh, uh, what's my man name, DeAndre Hopkins, uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. So we got a, we got a good, um, we got a good discussion here. And basically, my thought on this was just, you know, watching uh, G always talks about how you can't really tell what these teams are until week eight. We know the Ravens started off 0-2, but now they are a well-oiled machine. And uh, Kansas City clearly has not lost yet. They're playing some of the best defense in, as we talk about darn near every week. They're playing some of the best defense in, in the National Football League. Of course, they've got Mahomes. The offense is not clicking like it has in the past, but... Mahomes always finds a way to make that play, right? He finds a way to make that play. And, of course, we mentioned they've got uh, DeAndre Hopkins now. He's probably going to be a Hall of Famer. We know Travis Kelsey's going to be a Hall of Famer. He's the, they have the young uh, speed freak in uh, uh, Xavier Worthy. So they look like um, if they can get that offense up and running, they're going to be a tough out as well. So we look at them and we see, uh, again, arguably the two best teams in the league. Uh, G doesn't believe in the Chiefs. He Apparently thinks the Lions and the Ravens are the best team, two teams in the league. The Lions are very, very good. But um, who um, given, let's just say there is a Chiefs Lions matchup. I'm going with the Chiefs because, again, I think their defense is just slightly better. Um, they're good on all levels. Uh, they get after the quarterback. They can defend the pass. Uh, the Chiefs are just, man, they're special. And again, when it comes down to it, we, despite how he's currently playing, we just got too much evidence of uh, Patrick Mahomes making the play when it needs to be played. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. Lamar Jackson right now, man, he is uh, he's a freaking man possessed um, between uh, he and Derrick Henry. This uh, Ravens offense is running on all cylinders. And again, it appears that Todd Munkin has figured it all out and um, they're doing it. They're leading the league in total offense. They're leading the league in rushing by a wide margin. Lamar Jackson is throwing the football about as well as we've seen. Uh, he's making very few mistakes. I mean, we just saw the guy perfect passer rating, five touchdowns, uh, no interceptions the other night. Uh, just carve up the Tampa Bay, uh, carve up the the, the Buccaneers um, pass defense. And I'll tell you, the only weakness right now with Baltimore is that their pass defense is not good. But the way their offense is playing, it's been able to cover that up. And also, we know that. Uh, Baltimore is number one against the run. You cannot run the football on those guys. So that in of itself is reminiscent of the old Ravens defenses, but uh, the pass defense is kind of leaky. So um, they're going to have to sure that up. So, so we'll see. Um, 
Yes, G, I was getting there. Patrick Mahomes only has six passing touchdowns so far. But guess what? Again, yes, this is what I point to. Uh, th- right. We cannot <laughs> we cannot keep glossing over the fact that when you need him to make a play, like uh, this, this past week against the 49ers, 49ers had a chance to get him off the field. Patrick Mahomes just kind of scoots out nicely for that little 33-yard gain, hit him with a couple of brutal fakes along the sideline and just kept going. Well, you know, I thought it was a very impressive run for a guy who's not mobile. But anyway, you know, there's that. Um, <laughs> Don't make G call in. Don't make G call in. Joe. But see, G, G's in the chat talking about he's got to get his numbers up. Why does he have to get his numbers up? He's en route to winning a chip and they're undefeated. Okay, cool. If he gets his numbers up, that just adds to what they're doing. But you think Mahomes is worried about numbers? Mahomes trying to win a third straight and become a freaking immortal in this game, right? So we got to stop a, that. As, as a Raven fan, you should yes. want that man to get his numbers up. That's a at fact. that point, Steve Bagnoy, Steve Spaggy over there yeah. in that defense. And yeah, that, yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't want trouble. that. You don't want that. Um, and then, of course, so here, here's a little bit of um, Mahomes. And again, we know how good Mahomes is. Let's think about this. Transformer pointed this out, I think, last time we had a similar discussion. Mahomes, in his career, has never not reached the conference finals in the playoffs. Let that sink in. That's tough. He's never not reached the conference finals. And he's only been beaten in the playoffs by two men, one of whom is now on his way to the Hall of Fame, Tom Brady. <laughs> right? Think about that. Only two men have beaten Patrick Mahomes in the finals. Like, it. Th- okay, numbers, cool. Oh, wow. Man, look at this immobile guy. Look at this immobile guy. Man, I can't, I can't, he can't move, man. Jeez. I, man, this guy's so immobile. I, oh, God. Look at this. Look, man. This one, you see this, man? This dude you is so immobile, he was a baseball man. player because he, he, he definitely runs, his he runs like players. a baseball player. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but, but the point is we can always catch – not, not we can always catch. We can always assume that when the play needs to be made, Patrick Mahomes is going to make said play. And that, that's that's all there is to it. These are, without question, the two best teams in the league. Again, G says G says it's the uh the Lions, and the Lions are really, really good. But I can't I can't in good conscience take the Lions over the Chiefs. I can't. And they're really, really good. The Packers are really, really good. The Vikings playing really well. Houston Texans playing really, really well. A lot of good teams. But if we're honest, the Chiefs, man, they're still undefeated. The defense is crazy. And think about it. They're undefeated with the offense not even playing the way it should. And now you give this guy, Patrick Mahomes, a Hall of Fame quality weapon. Like, it's going to be interesting to see how it goes the rest of the way. Um, I'm sorry. I've been talking transforming your goal, man. I'm sorry, I've just been yapping. You're a right. Ravens fan. It's not about being a fan. Man. We, <laughs> we're, talking, we're talking football analysts here. You know me. I'm not. I'm not that. I'm not that guy, man. Oh my bad. I'm thinking you, G. Yes, my bad. Commanders, I was you, you know what? And hold on. I'm sorry. One more thing, Brandon. Yes, the Commanders are playing extremely well, and let's hope the young fella gets back on the field under center because he's an absolute beast. And I look at him like Lamar Light. Um, I don't know if you were on last time, but I made the analogy, Brandon, in terms of um, uh, which is uh, Jaden Daniels and Lamar Jackson. It's like watching young Kobe and Mike. I, that was the analogy that I kind of made. And um, I think it was a good one. Did, did, did you like that transform? No, I can't no, remember. It, made, it definitely made it click. It yeah. Clicked yeah. Yeah. I, I think, I think that fits well, but yeah. The um, playing styles. They, mm-hmm. they run the football very, very well. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're play action type of guys. Uh, you know, you catch either one of them in the open field. Good luck on your ankles. Um, <laughs> right. Hopefully right. The cleats is good. Cause uh, they about to put foots in dirt. And they about to go another direction, and hopefully them, them knee joints and them ankle joints is gonna be good to go. So, mm-hmm, but no, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely a good comparison. Right. So yeah, well, um, what are your thoughts on this whole thing? Um, obviously the Chiefs and the Ravens, I think, are the class of the AFC. Man, where are you with that? I'm tell, and I'm saying this because I have no skin in the, the game. Right. Right. Here. right. I got no skin. The Ravens better hope Patrick Mahomes doesn't figure it out. Right. Mm-hmm. That's the bugaboo of the entire AFC, and right mm-hmm. now they're freaking the freaking NFL. NFL. That's right. <laughs> right. Not a freaking NFL. Right. You don't want to give that man an opportunity to add to another right. weapon and get <laughs> yeah. right, right? Because yeah. obviously, obviously they're six and zero. Oh. Patrick mm-hmm. Mahomes has the worst season he's had in his career. He's having mm-hmm. the worst season, but they're six and zero. Oh. Not only that, they also beat you guys already. 
and he's six and zero, and he's not playing particularly well with this with this tra- Travis Kelsey with this DeAndre Hopkins add on. Like I said, he, this is not the same DeAndre Hopkins that we're seeing in the Houston Texans. Not even the same one that we saw in the Arizona Cardinals. But if he's any what has anything left in the tank, he has two motivational factors. Right? Those two motivational factors are one, he's finally playing for something. He finally has a coach. A Hall of Fame coach, a Hall of Fame quarterback, a Hall of Fame team, a Hall of Fame dynasty that really are shooting for something much bigger than him, much bigger than any individual mm-hmm. player accolade. Right. Number two, right. what do players love the most? Money. They both love <laughs> right. money, right? He's yeah. on the end of his deal. This is his last year before he goes and get another contract. So now you got two things to play for. One, I'm finna show my ass because I'm trying to get another bag. Two, damn, I'm trying, man, might as well win a championship while I do it. Because not only does that increase your value, you go win a chip with Kansas City. Now you check off two boxes. One, I got over the hump. I finally, I finally got to the promised land, and I got another, and I got a championship, my first ever championship. Right mm-hmm. now, you go in that offseason, go, hey man, look what I just did with Kansas City. <laughs> Pay me, <laughs> run it, run that check. I'm, be, I'm I'm gonna be 32, 33 years old, but run me that bag. I need at least two years, two to three year deal. <laughs> right, right. Give me twenty million a year, right. and somebody's going to bite on it, right? Because you have one of the better passers in the league. Um, mm-hmm. when it comes to a, situ- a situation, Pat's gonna get out of it, and Facts. I don't say that because I, I, we've witnessed it. I'm tired of people. Say, we've witnessed it, bro. Pat just gets out of situations. I, I don't. If if Pat's getting the ball last, hang it up. Hang it up. If he needs a field goal, they're going to get it. If he needs a touchdown, they're going to get it. And you watch the plays happen. You're like, damn. Like, how is he constantly, constantly doing this? Yeah, with all the flags. I don't, I don't believe that BS, yada, yada, yada. But that, that man gets it done. Like I said, the proof is in the pudding. Mm-hmm. Now, I do love what the Ravens are doing. Let me uh, go ahead and give them their flowers as well. Mm-hmm. They're finally committed. They're committed to something that's their strength. Yes. And finally, yes. but we've been here before. You we have been. Before. That's right. During That's the right. Season, y'all, mm-hmm. have, you're calling the right plays. You're mm-hmm. making the right decisions. Mm-hmm. It's when the shit hits the fan, and you're playing against Patrick Mahomes, mm-hmm. and, the, and the game is tied. Don't That's stop right. running the ball because we're going into the third quarter and Patrick mm-hmm. Mahomes score first. No, right. we can continuously run that football. You mm-hmm. have one of the you have the best running back in the game right now. Right? It, yeah. You're giving him them touches. Where does the where does uh Derrick Henry get the most of his action? That third and fourth quarter, because guess what? That defense is tired of trying to tackle that man, right? Mm-hmm. Not Absolutely. Only that, that opens up more lanes for Lamar Jackson. That play action becomes yes. more deadly. Deadly. Right? Mm-hmm. It becomes deadly. So just don't stop what you're doing because, honestly, Ravens, we've been here before. We've yeah. been here before, but y'all y'all get into the damn playoffs and just forget how you got there. Just right. remember that. Remember how you got there because that's one, one person going to remember. Pat, Pat remembers how he gets there every single mm-hmm. time because mm-hmm. he's – constantly been there over and over and over and over again man but yeah that's that's my take on it man so all right so i see g putting a lot of stuff in the see this is where i get frustrated with g right because i'm a ravens fan bruce is a ravens fan g's a ravens fan but i appear to be the only one that can be rational right everything i'm not the guy that's like Lamar never makes a mistake. Lamar is superhuman. Freaking uh, the Ravens can never lose. I'm going to pick them every week. Like that doesn't make sense to me. My mind doesn't work that way. Right. Like I have to rationally assess what's going on. Right. Like we hear we, we see G says, says here the rest of the league on notice. Wasn't the rest of the league on notice last year, G? The rest of the league was on notice last year. Right. 14 and two historically great defense led the league in, I think, every category. I don't think that's ever been done before. All of that, right? MVP, like MVP. the league in rushing, all of that. MVP. But it all disappeared and dried up in the conference final. So and, and you, you don't MVP. like you, you don't like when a third MVP loading. We'll see. We'll see. But the point is, uh, what what frustrates me is not just you, G, but anybody who has a lack of objectivity. Because at the end of the day, we can say whatever we want to say, but up until this point, we have not seen Lamar and the Ravens get it done when it mattered most. And I don't know how you can ignore that and deny that. I don't, I don't like, that's my problem. This is, this is, this doesn't make any, this doesn't make any sense to me. And I mean, we can, you know, dislike it as much as we want, but the fact is Lamar and the team has not 
gotten it done when it counted the most. And that's what we need to be cognizant of. Are they capable of it? Absolutely. But they've been capable of it before, right, Transformer? Correct. So so until it gets done, until it gets done, like we have to be objective about it. Um, the great Nelson Mandela said, everything seems impossible until it is done, right? So nobody's saying that it can't happen. I'm just saying we need to see it. We need to see it because to Transformers point, we've been here before. And that's not taking a shot at Lamar. That's nope. not taking a shot at the Ravens. That's just a simple truth. Now, G's going to call in and he's going to start telling me about how the Chiefs are cheating and they got the refs in their pockets and all this that, and that, all that. that right? man on the field. That's right. Man. And, and I, I suppose it's I suppose it's been that way for all three of Patrick Mahomes, championships and all six of his runs to the conference finals and all of that. But like, we, I don't I don't understand why it's so difficult to be objective. I, I just don't get it. Um, Brandon says. Why is no one talking about the terrible season Kelsey is having? They need all their weapons to produce because they win a lot of close games. Yeah, Brandon, absolutely. You're right about that. But what I will say, much like Mahomes, when you need it, Kelsey comes through. He's not. I don't know if he's capable of having those big games that he used to. But when you need it, you always find him on that big third down. Somehow he manages to get free just enough and and get that third down and move the chains. Right. So there's something to be said for that. Yeah, be honest with you, you uh -huh. don't really need him to be elite right now. Right now, whatever you guys got working, I mean, got going is working. Right mm -hmm. now, Pat Pat knows he can get it done with Travis Kelsey. And I think mm -hmm. Pat is starting right. to understand that. I know I can count on, uh, what's his number? What, seven, not 17. What's Travis Kelsey's number? 89. 87. 87. 87. 87. I knew it was 87. 7 there. Mm -hmm. All right? I can count on 87 when it matters the most. Right? Yeah. I don't it will be somewhere him. open. I don't yeah. need to get him cooking during the season. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need him right when that when when the, when the spotlight is on and I need that drive. Eighty seven. I need you, there Steve. You, you stupid right? man. You know what I mean. So I think right now you're just trying to figure out what's working for you with mm -hmm, these other mm -hmm. receivers. You got one. You got the fastest receiver in the draft. Now you got DeAndre mm -hmm. Hopkins. You got me, Cole Hartman. Uh, you know, out there. Um, you're trying to you're trying to see if you can get Sky Moore to get some reps, right? You're trying to see if you can get these other guys involved. Um. Uh, just Justin Watson and uh, you know, and like I said, McCole Hartman and Juju Smith Sousa. You're trying to get them like, mm -hmm. hey, look, long as we get we keep keep these reps, eventually what we got going is gonna work. 87 knows where to go and where to be. Mm -hmm. He knows where to go and where to be at all times. All right, mm -hmm. similar to Patrick, uh, Tom Brady and Gronk out. Mm -hmm. That's right. Tom, Tom Always. Knew, that's right. I don't need to get Gronk going because mm -hmm. in the playoffs, mm -hmm. when Gronk, Gronk is Gronk knows where to be. Other than the point where he had to, you know, Tom yelled at him to stand the hell up. Like, stand up. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, right. Like, oh, shit, I fucked up. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? But Without. that's the type of chemistry them boys have. I don't think that's mm -hmm. gone. I just don't think they need to show it. But, yeah, I just think, you know, right, right now they're just trying to – we said the same thing. Again, we, we said this last year. You know, Kansas City led league and drops. Like, oh, man, it's not working out. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Get, mm -hmm. What did they do? Whenever them playoffs yeah. started – Right, when all of a sudden, started, all of a sudden, them drops dried up, didn't they? Them boys couldn't drop a pass if they tried. And, and, and the dude who was dropping the most won the Super Bowl with the won catch. The Come on, man! Like that's real stuff. <laughs> all right, um, G says, as an analyst, you should be able to look at the game and look at what went wrong. That's true, and I have no problem with doing that. Except, like with G, you never see what the Ravens do wrong. You only see what the other people and the officials do wrong. Like that's what I'm talking about. You're not consistent. You're not objective, bro. Like, that's the wild thing to me. Like, but fan is short for fanatic. I get it. Uh, Baltimore wins the AFC this year. Maybe. Maybe. I got to see it, though, Brandon. I got to see it. We said I, it last if, year. If, if, I if I said to you, Brandon, the commanders are going to win the NFC this year, right? I'm, I'm just making an example because they're playing really well. What would you say to me? After many years of it not happening, you got to see it, right? You would, love to, you would love it for it to happen. I would love to see Baltimore win it, but I got to see it. That's all I'm saying. Um, Baltimore is a better team than KC. Damn right. I said it. Uh, they are a better offensive team than KC right now. I don't think they're better defensively. They're clearly better offensively. It's going to be a hell of a matchup whenever they meet up. Um, yeah. so I think it's one of those things where, you know, yeah, like Rick's teams have allowed no 21 point score yet. I don't think they, they're, they're not allowing points. I don't think so. And I don't think second, so. And, and I think I'm going to put the, put the numbers up, but in the second mm -hmm. half, they shutting folks out. Yeah, yeah. Like Steve, he goes to the halftime. He's setting folks out. Like, and I'll nah, tell you what, no more. it's great that Baltimore's offense is working the way it's working because yeah, you need that. 
yeah, they're they're letting teams back into the game even after they've been blowing them out. And that I think is kind of scary. They gotta they gotta fix that by the time you know the playoffs roll around. Um let's see. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is uh I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna open up the phone lines because I know G is going crazy waiting and there you go, Steve. I guess he think he's gonna come and young young disciple me, pause. So <laughs> um, you know, y'all know the number, nine zero four. 219-8264-904-219-8264. Uh go ahead, hit me up. We're here. Hit us up. Uh let let's hear what you guys say. I know, I know G Wayne to get in, so let's get it. G, um, G, don't waste time calling. Just get on the freaking <laughs> just get on the <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh Brandon says Bruce is right there. Just watch the game. I trust Ravens offense over the Chiefs defense. And I think the lack of top tier talent gives Baltimore's defense the edge. <sighs> Mm. Yeah, like a top tier talent. Top tier talent. She was good, man. Yo, yo, hit, on, hit, hit the um, hit the mute on um, on uh, on YouTube in the back. I don't have. Oh, something when when you called, I heard yeah, I heard the echo when you called in. All right, but go ahead though. What they do, dummy? What's going on? What it is, dummy? Hey um, man, what's up, man? I, I wanna I wanna call in and address a couple uh 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 things that were said about me. It's good. Uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> so first of all, like first of all, my guy on fire right now, and and so there yes. there will be no Raven slander going on on this line right now. Um. I understand. You know, for me. I already told you guys, you know, after week eight, that's, that's when I kind of do my assessment. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. it's based off of assessment. Mm-hmm. You can tell it, the, the team, you know, they feel like they felt like they needed somebody. They needed a team. They wasn't a complete team. So they went out and, and made the moves to try to compete because they noticed that, you know, 6-0 and early in the season don't really mean nothing. Still, mm-hmm. not let you guys go for okay. see a lot of good teams lose a lot of good players. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing I say about the Ravens defense, though, we, we, at the last two games, we really started to hit. I mean, really start playing physically. Yeah, Kyle Hamilton, um, you know. And, and, and that, that oh, kind of changes the trajectory. Yeah, that changes the, the trajectory of, um, of <laughs> who's going to catch the ball, right? Like, yes. um, and I, and I don't, I don't, I don't condone like injuries. I don't like talking about no, just that, physical that, ball. I get you. Their, lose their livelihood and such, but mm-hmm. um, if that Ravens defense start getting physical, man, it's going, it's going to look like the old Ravens where. You know, even though they didn't have all the talented uh, players at all the receivers in that secondary, mm-hmm. they was they was they was hit. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. was hit, and um, I, I'm I am um, I'm gonna jump to the whole thing of uh, my guy uh, Patrick Mahomes, who you know has been doing a, an amazing job winning chips. Right, um, he has a, a really good system over. Um, the defense is really winning the game. So they come in and make a play through here. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the last game, more interceptions than touchdowns. You know, mm-hmm. if he didn't have that resume that he had, mm-hmm. that he has, right, mm-hmm. y'all, w- y'all wouldn't be praising him like that. But because he got the three rings, right, uh-huh. so, you know, superior talent at the wide receiver and tight end um, um, uh, 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 position, that's that's why you guys are like, oh, yeah, you know, can I- home the greatest thing is sliced, since sliced bread. Okay, can so I interrupt you real quick? Like he's not playing like that this year. So he's not playing. He's not playing like he's not playing MVP caliber football. I think we um, all agreed with that, though. We, we all said that. Ten, he's not playing top ten quarterback. So he, no, he, he is really, not. When it comes when it comes to a quarterback, right this year, he shouldn't be in the, in the uh, conversation with Lamar right now. This dude is balling, man. And he's balling, and that's fine. He's no, balling. nobody, nobody said that we were elevating Patrick Mahomes to some place he shouldn't be. The only the only thing I said was. You can count on the fact that Mahomes is somehow going to make that play when it needs to be made. And that's undeniable because we see it week after week. We see it now. Is he again? We we were the ones that said he's not playing like he used to. This is not the same laser light show Chiefs offense. That's why they went out and got that weapon. And another thing I said, oh, you weren't here earlier. I want Transformer and I were discussing it. And I said it was my opinion that part of the reason they went out and got um, old boy uh, DeAndre Hopkins they saw what the Ravens were doing and they, they knew they needed to strap up for that, you know, because yes, the defense is elite, but they also need to be able to be more productive and more explosive offensively. So I totally, I don't disagree with anything you say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was late to the show, but when no, I, you good, you good. In, I, I was hearing some crazy stuff come from out of this, uh, 
the, the, the format podcast. And I was like, you know what? Let me call in mm-hmm. and verify. I made sure to be, you know, because I understand, you know, transforming, he's a cheese head, right? He's a cheese head. <laughs> uh-huh. So when he say things like we, and <laughs> he say things like we the Ravens and, you know, my pain the Ravens, I'm like, damn, are we converting the transformer to the Ravens? Nah, Come he... on over here, bro. I'll got... be saying we for real. I always say we got room in the flock, but he's we not. We got on. room over here for you. Know, you got, <laughs> matter of fact, matter of fact, you can have Bruce easy ticket. Oh, here we I go. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand uh, how many people uh, call themselves a Ravens fan, man. I understand. <laughs> I mean, he, he listen. He say I don't, I don't, uh, I don't criticize the Ravens. I just don't do it in public, right? Like I do it amongst real fans, and everybody know that, man. We we talk about sports all the time. We always talk about you know. What we need to get better at. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of times, that big balling for us is, is is really bad and huge. You know, yeah, it's, it's that's that's been a, like if you got Andy Reid, man, like we got John Harbaugh. <laughs> so I, I <laughs> think same, I think John Harbaugh. Pro- no, it's not the same, but I think he probably also doesn't get his due. But that's a different argument for a different yeah. day. But um, no, it's absolutely not the same. And it's funny because I've had that discussion as well with other cats I talk sports with, like if. If Patrick you uh, Patrick you and Patrick Mahomes had ended up somewhere else and not with Andy Reid, as good as he is, would he be this good? And I think the answer is clearly no. Yeah, like in football, like this. yeah, in football yeah. schemes schemes are real. For instance, G, you'll remember this when Priest Holmes played for uh, the Ravens. I think the year before he left, he had a little over a thousand rushing yards. Right, this dude yeah. goes to Kansas City, and Dick Vermeil brings the scheme from from St. Louis to Kansas City. And all of a sudden, Priest Holmes turns into Marshall Falk, literally yeah, setting he, NFL records, right? Scheme. over top of people. On yeah, yeah. Setting, the, setting the record for single season rushing touchdowns and total touchdowns and this down <laughs> and third. Like, scheme is a real thing. Scheme matters. So, so, so mm-hmm. you know, I, I, look, I look at the topic, right? And it's like, mm-hmm. which, which, which quarterback would you go with mm-hmm. right now? Right? Like, this week. Which quarterback would you go with? We ain't talking mm-hmm. about which team. We saying which quarterback, right? Yeah, yeah. Which, which quarterback time. would you take if you had? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a five all day. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jackson so five all day, bro. So, wait, say that again. What all day? Jackson five all day. Okay, so Lamar is playing out of his freaking mind. Thanks. To he is, huh? Thanks to. Thanks to what? Can't, you can't say five two because he's a two-time MVP. I was about to say, yeah. I mean, he has had a season like this before, so it's well, not I'm, like I'm. 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 I want to. I want to draw the comparison, right? Okay, good. Who, like on who I'm a pick, and you mm-hmm. said we're not, we're taking a team away, right? We're taking mm-hmm. a team. We're not mm-hmm. talking about team. We're talking about player, mm-hmm. right? So, but let's continue. I want to take the team away. Okay. We're taking the team away. Right. So okay, okay, okay. Right, and we look at the numbers, right? Like this dude. I think he got just as many, what, maybe, I don't know how many picks he got. Yeah. I don't know how many picks. He has he eight, eight interceptions. Mm-hmm. Eight interceptions and six touchdowns. That's a yep. no-brainer, bro. Yeah, it's a no-brainer. So, here's the thing, right? I, I want Because if, if you add yeah. up all the points now, he's in a hole. And he turned the ball over to being found. I, I get what you're saying. I do. The only thing is... I know you want to go with that guy. Man. No, no, no. Is that's but what I'm saying. Like, last game. He, and that, that's true, too. The only thing, my, my only argument is like, we got proof of concept with Patrick Mahomes. You know that he's going to get it done. And as great as Lamar is, we don't know that yet. That's my only, that's where I get hung up. We don't know yeah, but, that yet. But what we do see is mm-hmm. two time MVP, right? Mm-hmm. Two time champion. And uh, uh, or two time, right? Two or three, I don't remember. But two uh, three time MVP. champion, two time MVP, three oh, time okay, MVP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patrick Mahomes is doing the thing, but but I mean, mm-hmm. you take away everything, you take away the, the good play calling, and you switch. Let's say you put them in two different uh, scenarios where now Greg Roman is running the offense, for mm-hmm. him, right? Like now you're gonna see a totally different Patrick Mahomes. You're not gonna see that, right? You're not gonna see that. You're not gonna see that. He's a mobile quarterback, just like Lamar. You think he's gonna have those yards? Think so. No, hell nah. I don't think. No, I don't think so. No. So, 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 I mean, we can't we can't negate the fact that both of them are extremely talented at what they do. Right? Correct. Um, and it is a one-two punch. Yeah. I think Jared Goff. I give him respect because what you know mm-hmm. what that system, what they doing over there at, at, in Detroit, they smashing faces like that. Yeah. As a team, 
they killing him. He's putting up numbers. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't look at Patrick Mahomes and say he's doing the same thing this year. He's making plays. Right, right. right? He's a playmaker. He's right. making plays to win games. Mm-hmm. Um, when we get them close to, you know, the, 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 the field goal, the knockdown field goals and win, but it's just, it's not, it's not, it's not sexy. It doesn't look, you know, entertaining. It's just, you know, it's like, damn, he just shit the bed the whole game and now he just, he just threw a 15 yard pass to kick a field goal to win a game. And that's not what we're saying uh, with Lamar and the Ravens and shit. Right, right. That's on the outside. That's maybe, it. maybe some adversity, a, a change the trajectory of the team, you know, them going to get the Hall of Fame receiver. Um, and then Kareem Hunt coming back, maybe that'll change. You know, the dynamics of their team, they'll look more. You know, I'd be damned if I go and play all that money to watch. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. So, plenty of season left, man. This, this, plenty I, of season. I like this topic. I like this topic, man. I'm, I'm really not going to um, drill it into the hole, but drill, drill, the hole, drill it into the, the ground. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say that, you know, uh, week eight is upon us, right? There's yeah. a lot of frauds out here, man. <laughs> like, there's a lot of frauds. So. Yeah, we're, we're going to find out who they are going forward, right? Yeah. 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 That's also yeah. typically when Pat starts heating up, too. That's true, too. And if 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 you can get 70% of the old DeAndre Hopkins, watch out. Because that, that dude is a five-time All-Pro. That dude is going to the Hall of Fame. <laughs> so if yeah. you can get yeah. 70%, man, listen. But but yeah, I think... I, I, I wanted to say, I wanted, yeah, to, you know, put, I wanted to give you all these numbers real quick. Yes, sir. We're We're, we're shocked. Right, Patrick Mahomes, mm-hmm. six touchdowns, eight interceptions. You're like, God damn, wait, what? That yeah, sound like right. Patrick Mahomes, but do you not know at all. He leads the league in QBR in the fourth quarter. When you it when that? it matters most, when it matters most, mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes knows how to turn it on. Right, that's big, right there. Fourth quarter, he has 119.8 on a rating. That's score. rating, damn. In the fourth quarter, that's crazy. You look at his first quarter, zero touchdowns, four interceptions, fifty one. <laughs> right, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. like that goes to show you, like I, I feel they're kind of playing. They're, they're playing around. It, it, they're still in the figure it out. Like right now, we mm-hmm. are trying to figure out what other ways we can make this team the most effective. And then mm-hmm. when it matters the most, when shit hits the fan, Patrick and Andy Reid look at each other and I like, all right, man, bump all that. Time to go. Let's get it. Time to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. To go 20, 25 for 18 and your attempts to completion percentage, like everything changes when the when when that clock is 15 and it says fourth. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. that, that that truly is when you're gonna see the best better the better like, yeah. quarterback, in my opinion. Like I, I haven't seen enough from Lamar in those type of situations to mm-hmm. where it's like, okay, fourth quarter, hey, we're down three, I'm going to mm-hmm. get it. We're down seven, yeah. I'm going to yeah. get it. We got a lead. No, I'm not giving it up. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I think we've seen that from Lamar. That's the that's the big difference maker. And that I hope that since Derrick Henry's there, that's gonna change. You know what I mean? Oh, because you I think it has be, already. Like, please don't leave what you're doing in the regular season mm-hmm. because it's the postseason to try that's to right. put Lamar in that spotlight. No, that's right. if it works, it works. That's Get right. The fucking football, mm-hmm. and Lamar's game's gonna come to him. Just yes. keep running it. Don't yes. rely on don't go in the third <laughs> quarter and all of a sudden Lamar Jackson is throwing the ball 15, 20 times. No, mm-hmm. that's not how that's not how Lamar Jackson wins. If you right. look at that man's right. uh, attempts, it's in the twenties for the entirety of the game. It should mm-hmm. not be in the twenties in the second half. It should be in right. the teens, right? So I mean, that's my that's my that's my two cents. That, like G said, I think, uh, that's what you I said. think if it wasn't if it wasn't for Kansas City defense, they wouldn't be um, six and zero right now. That's a fact. We we, we fully yeah, acknowledge that. Playing like, even <laughs> that's if, a even fact. Playing like track. The other thing that I'm gonna mention is that. Uh, you didn't believe that we was gonna win by ten points. What was your What was your thoughts when we went up? <laughs> Yo, yeah, I'm watching this and I'm like, "Are you kidding me?" So two two things. I was like, "Oh boy, they did they, they're doing it." But then also also remember my my whole thing was the reason I didn't believe they were gonna win by ten points and they just got away with that too. Godwin doesn't get hurt. They 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 cover your ten point spread. But regardless, um, the next thing I was I thinking was get hurt. oh. All we the next thing I was thinking was all season long the Ravens have been giving up big leads, so I never worried that that the Buccaneers weren't going to get back to single digits. Right? I was like, damn, they Ravens doing it, but they give up these big leads late in games. So I I, I felt like uh, the Buccaneers were going to get back inside that and make it a single digit thing. So um, when it didn't happen, it didn't happen. I was like, damn. <laughs> but um, yeah. I mean, they, yeah, they still a, need to. They still need to uh, legitimately uh, firm up that that back end pause. But 
but they're doing a great job stopping the run, which is uh, always key. Run the ball, stop the run. That's how you have success. But um, just they firm up that passing defense. Yeah. And 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 I like what you said about, you know, the, some of the physicality returning in uh, in in the uh, in the past defense. I see my man Kyle Hamilton lowering that shoulder on a regular basis. Go Irish. So, you know, just yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so definitely, Mark as well is, is one of our weakest links. Uh, and then, uh, Brandon Stevens, I think he's 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 hurt as well. Mm-hmm. Side note, speaking speaking of go Irish, did you see uh, that that run play? Ronnie Stanley <laughs> drove my man 15 yards straight into the end yes. zone and caked him. Yes, <laughs> he did that every game. Yo, bro. that. No, no, not like that. Like I'll be watching. That was vicious. I was like, like, bro, that, was, that man yeah. literally took him and was just dragging yeah. him off. It looked like, like um, remember on the blind yeah. side in the movie, the blind yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was like, damn. And then you know he finished and he pancaked him. I was like, yeah, I had to do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but but uh, I think the the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are kicking themselves in the ass. Yes, trying to they oh, lost man. they lost two receivers. Mm-hmm. That that I mean Mike Evans that that um that loss was that was a freak accident. But the whole thing with um still having your number one or number two out there um at garbage time trying to you know just trying to the the, the meet a spread like that's that stupid. It was forty yeah, seconds left. Yeah, that was stupid, bro. That, that's, mm-hmm. I know they kicked himself in the ass for that. I don't think they but were trying was- to meet a spread. I really think that they were trying to compete. And also because they know that they had an elite pass offense versus a not elite pass defense. So they're like, man, you, we probably – because think about it. They had already recovered one onside kick. Um, they had you know, gotten a few drives and get back in the game. I'm sure they thought that they could do it. I'm sure they thought that. And real talk, if you're a competitor, you're going to – you're supposed to believe that. Now – Again, it did not work out in their favor on any front. And I'm sure, like you said, they're kicking themselves like, damn, should we have just, you know, just try to run it and, and run the clock out? But them dudes are trying to compete. And I'll, I will never be mad at dudes trying to compete because I always talk about that in the modern athletes and dudes not wanting to compete. So I'll never be mad at that. Yeah. I mean, we're also looking at it in hindsight, too. Well, you know what's funny? Um, we, we talked about that earlier, G, because Tampa Bay has Atlanta this week. And I was saying we're gonna we're gonna really find out what Baker can make, you know, without Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. We're gonna find out. Baker, so Baker. We're gonna, we, yeah, we go see what Baker Baker can make. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, you got anything else, bro? Nah, man. That's all I got, man. That's my no doubt, man. I appreciate the call. I think we're waiting for Bruce, and then we're gonna go ahead and get out of here, man. So, Bruce, um, if you want to call, go ahead and do that, and uh, we'll we'll take your call on this. I know you said you wanted to. Um, get on this topic, and then uh, we we will call it a night. So, yeah. All right, G, man. Thank you so much, bro. I right, see you, stupid. Oh, G, he, he hung up already. Oh, there you go, bro. All right. <laughs> Bruce, what's good, man? Hey, what's up? Yeah, hey, man, I'm going to start this off. Hey, Transformer, how you going to talk about my, my organization like that, Transformer? But what I do? Talk about how the Ravens, we struggle in the playoffs and all uh, what Green Bay? What have Green Bay done the last decade? See why but you got to shift it on me? That was this right. Is that was that was topic, about bro. this, man. <laughs> that wasn't about Green Bay. You about, trying to tear them all the way know, over to the. Y'all go ahead. Listen, go ahead. Talk about how, especially Transformer. <laughs> See, we Ravens fans. You talking about how my team ain't do, man, doing good in the playoffs and all this? I'm not sure. Aaron Rodgers been shitting the bed for the last. Aaron Rodgers been shitting the bed for the last ten, bit, ten years in the playoffs. Oh. So, sir, good sir. But if anyway, you look, if you look anyway. at the left side of the screen, right, you see where it says Week Eight Pick'em, yeah. Embiid, history, history in LA, <laughs> Chiefs Ravens. It is a Chiefs Ravens Packers, bro. All right, so it's Chiefs Ravens. So if you want to talk about yeah, the Packers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers been coming up short like a motherfucker oh, for the past ten years. Classic. But anyway, material. um, but yeah, uh, y'all talk. Okay, so so so, uh, how you doing, Bruce? You What's talking good, about Bruce? the Ravens, right? Yes, sir. You keep saying Lamar's not getting it done. He's not getting it done in the playoffs. Well, legends in all sports haven't gotten it done in the playoffs uh, uh, right away. Sometimes. Okay, facts, let me bring it down to you. I took eight. It took Michael Jordan eight years to win his first. That's correct. Mm. That's correct. It took Peyton Manning ten years to win his get his first ring. No doubt. 
I I want to I want to jump in on that one, but go continue. It took who else? Let me give you one more. Somebody took took them years to get their first ring. John Elway. It took LeBron eight. It took LeBron eight years. Yeah. Get his first ring. Didn't it take John Elway like fifteen years to win his first title? I think so. For fifteen, for sixteen, mm-hmm. they don't do that. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think you can't base. So the greatest, the greatest quarterback all just ring. You no, see no, what I'm saying? no, 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 no. But but look, you can, we can't, we cannot ignore the postseason failures, though. So here's my thing, and this is how okay. I know, this is how I know you guys don't listen to me and you're not objective listen, because okay, ahead, w- one of the main things I say, and Transformer will tell you because he's always on here with me and G two, but G don't. When we start talking Ravens, G get the blinders on. But anyway, <laughs> no, um, I've always said that we have seen Lamar each time out get consistently better and go consistently further. I've always said that. That's a fact. We know that to be the case. Now, the reason I bring up that he hasn't gotten it done because G likes to waive those MVPs, a two-time MVP. Okay, cool. But how is that helping when we need it the most, when we need him to play like the two-time MVP? He doesn't, right? So that's more Mm. so my point. Like, I have no doubt that Lamar will eventually get it done. I just want to see it. I can't be wrong for wanting to see it. I have no doubt that he's eventually going to do it. I just want to see it. For instance, you brought up Michael Jordan. The the sports writers and the media always used to talk about um, how Michael Jordan, uh, what is it, how Michael Jordan is never going to win. He doesn't uh, win like Magic and Bird. All he does is put up his own big stats and he's never going to win until he started winning and dominating, right? So Mm -hmm. I'm saying I have no doubt whatsoever. Hear me. I have no doubt whatsoever that Lamar will eventually win and he'll probably win more than one. He just hasn't done it yet. And I just want to see it. I don't know how that means that I have a problem with the Ravens or I have a problem with Lamar or this, that, and the third, but I'm, I'm objective and I'm going to continue to be that. That's all I can be. So G in the chat says this won't age well, well. (laughs) but what won't age well? Me saying, I want to see it. What won't age well? I mean, let me ask you, Bruce. I don't talk to you as much as I talk to G. I talk to G almost every day. But do you think that I've been unfair to Lamar? Yes. Okay. Because no lie to me, let's break it down to last year AFC Championship. It was a lot of shit that just didn't go our way that game. It was a lot of missed calls. We got raw. We got it was about it was about three passes in the first that they didn't call it uh, last year. That AFC Championship. Yeah, you and G definitely the same. All right, go. <laughs> I'm just saying, sir, look at them bad calls that we didn't get last year in the AFC Championship game. Also, boom, Lamar, good pass, stay flowers, uh, get the big play. He jumps up and taunt the defender, boom. Next play, he hits Zay Flowers, Zay Flowers diving in the end zone, boom, gets the ball knocked out. It's a team, it's a team thing. Everybody keep blaming them all for Ravens not getting to the Super Bowl. It's a team sport. Understand me? You keep saying Lamar got to get it done. So the Ravens got to get it done. Lamar has to get it done. And do you want to know why? Because he's a $250 million quarterback. And that's how this game goes. And two-time MVP. And two-time MVP, right. G loves to throw that at me. And he is. And he deserved it. But when you're all those things and you're that elite, you got to get it done. So what you're telling me is, first of all, I'm not telling you that what you're saying is wrong. Everything you said that went wrong in that game just now, you're 100% right about those things. But let me ask you this. Are you telling me, because this is what I saw most watching the game, that there were not times that Lamar could have made the extra play to keep a drive going that would have helped them win that game? That's my biggest issue. That's my biggest issue. When you're that gifted, when you're that gifted, the, the expectation is on you that you will make it happen because he's that great. And I think that's where you and G and I, we, we miss each other. We disconnect. The expectation is that he will get it done because he's that great. Not because he's that great. We need to make excuses for why it doesn't happen. You see the difference? Oh, so that's what, so that's basically what you're holding against. Well, I, again, I, I, I have made it clear that he has gotten progressively further each time out. And I have all so the that's respect the in the world for that. thing that's holding you against him. He, he's not getting it done in big mo. Got to. He, he got to. Because that right, once he does that, made man, made man. He just got to get that. And I want to see that. And I need to see that. And I'm going to be so happy when he does. I just need to see it. That's all. Oh, wow. So the regular regular season don't count, though. That don't add to his prestige. 
it, was valued. It it does, but you know and I know that legends are made in the playoffs in every sport. Am I right? Absolutely. So that that's all I'm saying. I just want to see. I want to see his legend grow with the ability that he has. You feel me? We know how great he is. You know, I know, G knows, the world knows. I just want to see him take it all the way and then nobody can say anything. Basically, That's basically, all I want to see it. He needs to have his moment, right? Like, yes. I don't think, like, we've seen, we see the, I can go on days of film mm -hmm. of watching this man get highlight after highlight mm -hmm. during the regular season. Right? With his arm, with his leg, just his doing arm, amazing, just miracle, magical things. Crazy work, right? Given, given, given the regular season, crazy work. I want to see that moment in the playoffs. I think once he has that moment, mm -hmm. everything will open up for him. If like Bobby has that moment where mm -hmm. it's like, Damn, I threw the ball well, I ran the ball well, mm -hmm. we got a win that's deserving. We make mm -hmm. it to the I don't even like he can make it to the Super Bowl, but if he does if he loses in an AFC championship game and Lamar Jackson goes out there and has one of them three touchdown games mm -hmm. and he ran for 75 yards, like mm -hmm. okay, that, at least you had your moment. You had yeah. the moment to where yeah. you put the team on your back and you showed I'm the two time MVP. Mm -hmm. Damn what that coach is gonna call. I'm mm -hmm. gonna make the correct call. I'm gonna make the correct decision. That's I'm right. gonna make I'm gonna methodically drive down this, drive my team down this field to either score or keep the ball away from that opposing offense, aka Patrick Mahomes. Keep the ball out that man's hands. That's mm -hmm. what we want to see. Lamar Jackson mm -hmm. is so freaking great. He's yes. so great. He's so elite. Yes. He's so electric. Yes. You're never not going to hear me say anything bad yes. about Lamar Jackson. Right. It's like, bro, we want to see Ashton yes. Jackson in that playoff game where it's like, bro, you couldn't mm -hmm. stop him. You couldn't stop right. him. Like, you couldn't that's do anything with him. Right. And I, I, think that, I think that's being fair. That yeah, we just want to see him live up to the greatness. That's all. Yeah. We just want to see it. So, why are we, let me ask you one more thing. Why are we keep pitting? Patrick, Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson against each other. We oh, might don't even even meet in the playoffs. No, 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 no. That that's easy. That's that easy because because Lamar Jackson is easily uh, a top four quarterback, probably top three in the league, and Patrick Mahomes is generally seen as the guy. It's like Ric Flair said: to be the man, woo, you got to beat the man. The man. Right? And so we Hold want on. to see, we want to see, and think about it: Patrick Mahomes is pretty much Lamar Jackson's kryptonite. Nobody else can deal with him. But for some reason, he has some difficulty against Mahomes. So at the end of the day, him, I don't think he's uh, to beat him. Uh, to beat him. Uh, let me see. At the end of the day, we want to see him. Um, Patrick Mahomes is four, four, four to one. He's four and one against. Four and one. Four and one. Okay. In five since five times since two, 2018, Patrick Mahomes is four and one against Lamar Jackson. Got it. I know well, they obviously, they don't play head to head. It's not like Lamar can go out and tackle him. But the point is, he he like G said in chat, he beats everyone except Mahomes, right? So we need him to go out there and go ahead and slay the dragon, right? Slay the proverbial dragon. So it's not necessarily trying to pit them against each other. It's just we know that Mahomes, it's like Mount Mahomes, right? That is the hill that he has to climb in order to plant his flag on top and say, I'm the man now. The dragon. Also, but also I'm going to add to that. Lamar Jackson is the regular season MVP. Multiple time regular yes. Multiple season times. MVP. Yes. Who's the Super Bowl MVP every time? Mm -hmm. Patrick Mahomes. So you're looking That's at that right. in comparison, like, come on, regular season MVP, because the other guy is winning the the big mm -hmm. ones, the the the, the yeah. finals MVPs, That's the right. championship MVP. So I think they're going right. to always be in conversation because mm -hmm. of you know what he's doing during the regular season. The question is. Mm -hmm. That's right. We see that MVP in the postseason to just own the one that's constantly winning the, mm -hmm. the Super Bowl MVPs. So yeah, I think that's why you'll see a lot of oh, Bruce. Yes, sir. So Bruce, you say Lamar. So you say Lamar is top three. Yeah. In the league. Yeah. So, who, so. Who's, who's who's over top of him then? Every three. Um, if I just had to pick, so are we talking about the top oh, three as they're playing right now, or just the top three quarterbacks in the league? Because that's like two and different who's things. Who's the top three right now in the world quarterback in the world? I don't give a fuck. Ooh. Who's the top Ooh. three in the world right Man. now? Okay, so it's clearly it's going to be Mahomes. Like yeah. it doesn't matter that he's not playing well. You, I'm not taking him out of there. It's Mahomes, Lamar, and that oh. third is either Josh Allen or Joe Burrow. Maybe golf, but Josh Allen or Joe Burrow. Mm. Okay. What? 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 I got you in there. I got you. Hey, hey, let me say this. Let me say this. this I'm ready to just address the elephant in the room. Yeah, good. Our poor defensive play going to be the death of us. I hope not. I hope not. 
No, 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 no. Listen. When we get in the playoffs and everybody, mm-hmm. everybody up and running, mm-hmm. if we can't cover, mm-hmm. if, we, if we giving up 450 yards mm-hmm. of, of, of offense, mm-hmm. even though we doing our thing too, mm-hmm. that's it's playing it too close to the thing. Um, our defense True. is playing out of whack. We look confused. Motherfuckers running wide open. The pass defense. Uh, Zach Orr over there looking lost. Well, um, uh, Zach Orr has Dean, Dean Pease is, is uh, being an advisor to him now, well, so it, I, I think they'll get that in line uh, by the time. Uh, really. yes. uh, Eddie Jackson, he's playing like shit. Marcus mm-hmm. Williams playing like shit. Okay. Uh... R- R- Roquan look a step slow. Motherfuckers running wide open mm-hmm. in the middle. Even though he cracking shit now, he most definitely cracking shit. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I, I, I truly believe Zach Orr is blitzing at the wrong time. Okay, he's, I believe that he's playing at times. He, he's playing Kyle Hamilton too close to the line too much. Go mm-hmm. Irish. Because he's go. basically, Thank basically you, got the same personnel. <laughs> he basically got the same. He basically got the same personnel from last year. Right. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Even though the pressure <laughs> is a tick below what it was last year, uh, a few ticks below. Our pass defense a few ticks below, mm-hmm. and it's we we going into week eight now. Come on, now we should have been ahead together at least by week five. See, I, I gave the first two games. That was nothing but preseason. Seventeen games. Ain't, ain't nobody playing preseason. That was a mm-hmm. cheap giveaway game. Mm-hmm. I already knew you was going on an eight game run. I already knew it was coming. I think. Um, I think it's. I, listen, we still got half the season to to get that back. Right. That that, uh, that pass defense, that secondary in order. Um, and I I think it's going to come around. It's not going to be what it was last year, but it's going to come around and it's going to be effective enough. So I'm. I it's, it's going to be all right. And and what I noticed too that that secondary makes timely plays, right? Yes, yeah, guys right, put up right. a lot of true, yards, true. but they make timely plays, and I think plays, in yeah. some cases that's just as important, you know. True. Yeah. True. So, um, that's what I see. Long as we, if we, if we, long as we have it together by December, January, there I'm you go. good. That's right. That's right. Understand what I'm saying? Um, Absolutely. Yeah, man. Ray Palm just seemed like Ray Palm been playing like shit ever since he's been dressing like a first runway model. Man, he's been dressing all weird and shit coming to the goddamn game. Motherfucker, Ray Palm with the pants and the goddamn sum and them goddamn runways over the front, dressing like a goddamn supermodel and shit. <laughs> Coming in the game looking all weird and shit. Like, what the hell going on? Oh, That's my goodness. That's why you're a step slow. Look, he, look a little, he, looked about, he looked about seven, eight pounds heavy. Had uh, what he was last year. He's right, right. a little chunky. He's a little chunky this year. But, yeah, man, we're going to get it together, man. I'm going to let y'all boys so. go, man. All right, brother, man. Thank you so boys much for go, calling man. Nice talking That's to y'all. No all doubt, right, bro. Appreciate all the calls, right. man. Thank you, brother. All right. All right. Okay, so we are going to uh, – that's a great call from Bruce. Um, obviously, a uh, passionate Ravens fan from Baltimore, along with G. See, you see that, though, Bruce? Bruce a little more objective, though. You I know? was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know, he's reasonable. He's reasonable. He's reasonable. Like, all right, all right, I, I get yeah. it. You know what I mean? yeah. G like, but, but, F that. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, again, <laughs> you always got to remember, man, fan is short for fanatic. That's a real thing. That's a real Wait, but thing. G G is a passionate ride or die man. Blind is, is on like nah, bro. Ride or die Ravens. So <laughs> you can be ride or die, but that doesn't mean you can't be objective. Like that's the nah, thing. Damn. Spell objective. That's what he's gonna say. Spell it. R A V E N. <laughs> they like spell it R A C E. Oh my like, goodness! That's right. That's it, bro. That's how we spell that's it. it. <laughs> that's how we spell it. Oh, that's how man. we spell it. Be more. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. All right, but another good episode. Another really good episode, man. Absolutely. A lot of passion, a lot of knowledge. Um, so uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna call it right here. A little, just short of four hours. Another marathoner, but. Man, great show. Uh, a lot of passion in the chat and on the calls. So uh, I love that. I appreciate y'all, man. Make sure if you haven't already, I know I say it all the time, but I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe on the way out. Make sure you hit that share button, man. I know all of y'all uh, text your buddies and talk sports. Text them the link to our channel. 
Yes. Text them the link to the format podcast so they can get in here too, man. Especially when um, y'all calling in, like, hey, man, hey, bro, I'm about to go on this live real quick. Tell me what yeah. you're about to say. Push mm-hmm. it, bro. Push it, man. Yeah. I see. And when I see. we get more of y'all in here talking that trash, mm-hmm. more, more random yeah. fans. Hopefully, we get one more green base fan. I'm gonna, y'all got to hold it down for the green. Yeah, yeah. Find one. Find one. I tell you what though, like the chat is already wild. Could you imagine like we get we get some more crazy people in this joint? Oh my oh god. Hopefully not yeah. like the all right, never mind. <laughs> stop. <laughs> but all right, y'all. We're gonna we're gonna stop it right here, man. Great show. We appreciate all of your interaction. We appreciate your time. Appreciate the super chat, my main man G, always. And uh what is this? Uh Wednesday. All right, Woo. probably got got some got some downtime until Saturday. Um, some great college football coming up this weekend. Uh, man, uh, yo, we're gonna be on on Saturday night during freaking um. Me and Steve gonna come to your crib, man. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Pause. Come, 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 come back here. <laughs> I got right. a four five. I got a nine. I got this baby hat on, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but no, we're, we're we're gonna be on on Saturday night. Um, right, right during that um freaking uh, what you call it? Uh, LSU and Texas A and M. That's gonna be a hell of a game. Y'all gonna be live? Y- y'all, you and me on too, fool. <laughs> oh, right, that's why I, I, I was hey, confused. Hey. Bro. I didn't know what was going on. Appreciate you, Steve. Appreciate you, brother. <laughs> But yeah, that that's that's gonna be a hell of a game. So um by the way, everybody, we need we need uh Texas AM to beat LSU this weekend. So, you know, keep that in your prayers or however you want to do it. Draft of what? I have no idea. I don't, I don't like mock drafts, man, because there's there's so much information that we are not privy to. I don't I don't really do them. The NFL, um, I'm assuming that you're talking about. I, I have no idea what he's referring to. Probably. I really don't know. But, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get out of here, and we will talk to you all next time. I don't anticipate another show until Saturday, but you never know if stuff happens because we're getting up near the trade deadline in the NFL. So if stuff happens, you all know I will um, I'll just get on and, and, and do a live as I have it. So we'll, we'll see what happens. No, absolutely. Um, Navy's QB. I go to church with his uncle who's an Ohio kid. Oh, really? Okay. All right. That's dope, bro. Yeah, tell them you're praying. You, you, you're you you're praying they lose. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh uh, man. <laughs> okay, okay, that's cool. But yeah, no, I think uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. But yeah, we're we're gonna get out of here. All y'all have a good night, man. We'll see y'all next time, man. We out. Peace. Peace. I know. I got it now. I got it now. Oh, you did.